New at five, a man lost out on a job just because of the color of his skin. That is according to an Atlanta law office who says yesterday a jury delivered a verdict awarding the man millions of dollars. 11 Alive's Molly Oak has more tonight. The attorneys say that award was more than $3 million following a lawsuit filed in 2021. That's Today, attorneys with Barrett and Farahani say hired. this man wasn't hired because he's black. I was shocked. I was, I was hurt. And I'll just be honest, I was, I was angry at first. Attorneys say Kenny Falk applied for a job in 2019 as a sales executive with Demerico Express, an Asia-based company with operations here in Atlanta. Falk says he had a previous misdemeanor charge for disorderly conduct, saying he figured that's why he wasn't hired. They offered him the position. They gave him an offer letter. He signed and accepted the position. They negotiated a salary with him. It was only when the disorderly conduct came back and the president saw that he was a black male that they took the position away. Attorneys say a former HR employee reached out to Falk in 2021 telling him this information. A few weeks later, there was a white man who had four misdemeanors on his background and the president said hire him. Today, attorneys showed 11 Alive the evidence presented in court, where they say an employee warned executives it's discriminatory to search for candidates based on race and age, when they noted the ideal candidate is preferably white and between 26 and 40 years old. It was painful because I thought it was one reason, and I find out it's a totally different reason. And it, and it has nothing to do with anything I can do. I can't change the color of my skin. This week, federal court documents show a jury delivered a verdict yesterday in favor of Falk. Attorneys say the jury recommended an award of nearly $3.4 million. It was hard for me to stand up. I, I came down to tears because I never knew this day was going to come. Falk hopes his case will help future workers, regardless of race, get a fair chance. Reporting in Atlanta, Molly Oak, 11 Alive News. We did reach out to Demerico Express for a response. An attorney representing the company says this is a mischaracterization, but has not sent us a formal statement.